welcome to the world's shortest ear vr course so you know the basics of unity or you are someone who wants to know how to develop an augmented reality or virtual reality app or game game engines like unity and unreal are very easy to learn but hard to master don't worry i'm here i will tell you what exactly you need to do to become an awesome xr developer so listen carefully before that let's roll the intro of this channel This is the only video that you need to watch to know everything related to getting started with AR VR development. No bullshit, just what you need to get started. In this video, we will be going through the basic fundamentals, what are the available tools and SDKs and resources to learn them. Step 1. First things first, you need to learn a game engine, preferably Unity 3D, as it has a very small learning curve and it does not need a high-end gaming machine. So, you don't have to burn your pockets. But that being said, If you already have an access to better machine with better specifications don't restrict yourself to unity explore both unity and unreal and figure out which one do you love but my personal suggestion for especially xr is unity now that you know this what are you supposed to do let me explain go to unity.com/learn don't go to any youtube channel while you are getting started go to unity.com/learn This is the Unity's official website to learn Unity. They have different pathways based on what you like to learn. If you are a developer, they have developer pathway. If you are an artist, they have artistic pathway. But before that, go through the Unity Essentials pathway so that you are familiar with Unity. And post that, you can go to any other website or or YouTube to learn specific stuff. One of the best ways to learn any tool or software is to go through their documentation. So spend a couple of hours in going through the god documentation figuring out what are the terms or the nomenclature of that particular software. Now that we have cleared the courses from Unity's learn section which is Unity Essentials and C# Sharp programming basics. Now enter the dragon. Let's address the elephant in the room XR. So how to get started with budget with XR? I always say get your basics right first don't go and try to build your next famous ear vr game right away because you will fail and end up point end up disappointing first learn exactly what are these technologies what are the differences between them in detail along with the relevant hardware and tools or sdks available let's get started with vr virtual reality the best and easiest way to get started with vr development is to buy the budget friendly and the most famous available headset in the market which is quest or quest 2 by meta of facebook so when you buy this headset first of all get yourself familiarize with the vr headset how to use it play games interact with it learn all the lingo now that you are completely familiar with the vr hardware now you need to decide which sdk to use to develop vr applications There are multiple options. First option is something called XRI, XR Interaction Toolkit by Unity. This is a platform agnostic SDK, which means you can use this SDK to target multiple hardware. So remember this: whenever a new headset is introduced to the market, it will also comes along with its own proprietary SDK from the company. But let's say if you want to build a game. and you want to support multiple headsets then you need to shuffle around with multiple sdks so in order to remove that pain point unity introduces something called unity xr toolkit through which you can target multiple hardware at the same time but there are few restricted features which you can only access to the proprietary sdks in this case of oculus it is oculus integration So my solution is to learn Oculus integration, Unity XR toolkit and also one more hidden gem that nobody in the industry talks about which is Ultimate XR. So the name itself is Ultimate XR. If you learn and master these three SDKs, you can target most of the hardware in the market. But there are few exceptions like Pico, Vario and lot of other stuff. I am sure you haven't even heard of these headset names. so you don't have to worry about this at this point of time okay so at this point of time you know how to handle a vr headset how to play games how to develop basic vr apps so now concentrate on the design part 
learn how to do multiple ui mechanics how to do movement in the vr it's called locomotion locomotion is all about how do how do a user or a person move inside virtual 3d space you can play with tools like gravity and bezel for design try to prototyping and you are free to go from there if you are someone who says bro i can't even afford a movie ticket for open hyper movie how can i be a be a headset then get started with ar augmented reality because it does not have any hardware dependency unless and until you have a good working android or ios mobile phone but there's a catch there's a lot of confusion between augmented reality and mixed reality i mean there is a difference between augmented reality and mixed reality and lot of people have different opinions on what it makes and what it ta- sorry what it takes to become a thing in augmented reality and mixed reality and with the introduction of vision pro and apple and coining a new term called spatial reality it becomes too complex so for this video let's bring all of them under one term which is augmented reality i am sure someone is already typing in the comment section saying you don't know anything about ar vr mr special computing metaverse web3 all that let's just skip that if you are really tight on budget and not able to afford a vr headset and you are using that as an excuse not to learn xr then you are doing a big mistake it's fucking simple start with ar for the ar you can just use mobile phones i will recommend everyone to explore and learn ar foundation and ar core and ar kit these are not three different things but yes these are different things let me explain ar core is an sdk offered by google which runs on android devices few of its features will also run on ios but ar core is primarily for android and ar kit is for ios devices by apple so ar foundation is a unique solution from the unity's end where they are giving a u- unified api that you can access so that you can target both apple and android phones at the same time so that you don't have to do multiple builds multiple developments of course if you need a device specific or a sdk specific feature you need to either opt for ar core or ar kit so ar foundation is one thing that i would definitely recommend you guys to check it out and then comes vuforia which is a very popular third party ar sdk and there are multiple features inside of vuforia where it can help you uh, anchor ar experience to image on flat surface to a 3d model even your entire environment can become and target for for you so i definitely recommend everyone to learn with for you and now for the latest and trending form of ear which is world scale ear which means it is a location based ear where you can access 3d models and visualize 3d models based on the location and something called vps visual positioning systems which means you don't need an image or qr code or a model anything for as a target the location itself becomes a target and geospatial creator is a tool that is offered by google to enable you to build world scale ear and also there's an sdk called lightship ear from niantic which also you can explore for the world space ear so this is a lot of sdks that is available for ear in the market and what are the sdks that i have mentioned if you have a fair understanding and a grip of about this sdks then you are good with ear and for the design prototyping or you can use that tool bezel that i have already mentioned for ar2 and as far as spatial computing or mixed reality is considered if you already have an ex- access to headset core it's ex- it's like quest or quest 2 you can already access mr or spatial computing features through the pass through feature where you can see the physical reality through the cameras on the vr device otherwise you can also use emulators or simulators to experience the ui ux mechanics and also d- design principles from different interaction mechanics so once you are familiar with whatever that i have mentioned until this point of time start building stuff and post the progress on linkedin create a killer linkedin profile and then start applying for internships or junior level positions so once you get it there you will have access to better hardware better machines high end specifications and you can achieve your dream but don't forget to have fun 
so that's it wait 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 the video is not over i forgot to tell you something i have already made an video about how to set up oculus quest quest 2 or quest pro for vr development for oculus integration and i have also explained a bunch of other supporting tools which will make your life easier that is the only video that you need to see in order to explore vr development for quest devices before closing the video let me summarize the entire video in the style of apple keynote presentations first learn a game engine preferably unity 3d and then buy a vr headset preferably quest or quest 2 and then start learning via sdks like xr interaction toolkit oculus integration or ultimate xr and then move to ar learn sdks like ar kit ar core euphoria niantic lightship and then start creating prototypes post your progress on linkedin create an killer linkedin profile and start applying for internships or junior level positions and finally don't forget to have fun if you would like to watch more videos like this kindly like and subscribe to this channel and don't forget to share this video to each and every one of your friends who are interested in getting started with ARVR. Until next video, bye-bye. Have fun.